Imagine a world that runs entirely on renewable energy. A world where water, wind, and solar power produce enough electrical energy for us to do without nuclear power, fossil fuels, or other dangerous and polluting sources of electricity. This world would only be possible thanks to power electronic converters, which facilitate the flexible and highly efficient use of renewable energy. Solar panels do not produce electricity at night, wind turbines do not turn without wind, but our electricity needs are unremitting. Professor Duwich at EPFL is working on the biggest, most powerful converters for future energy systems. Similar to daily use of money as a media to exchange a value, majority of our energy exchange is actually done using electrical energy as a medium. Irrespectively from the way we produce energy, whether it's from wind or solar or nuclear or fossil fuels, at the end we have to convert it to the electrical energy for a further transport and distribution. There are converters in all the electrical and electronic appliances that surround us, from the smallest to the biggest, from our smartphone to our computers and cars, right up to the most colossal and powerful machines, like cruise ships that are nowadays propelled with power electronic converters. Here at the ABB factory of Media Water Drives, Switzerland, we can see example of such a high power technology. So what do we have here? Whenever we have to process a high amount of power, such as tens of megawatts, power electronics technology tends to grow and becomes bigger. So where do we use this? The range of application is very wide. Whenever we have to process a large amount of power, we may use this kind of technologies. Examples may include a large cruise ships that have to be propelled across the oceans, production of uh, electricity from the wind, large and demanding industries such as metal, mining, industries would use this. In Switzerland, beneath the Grimsel Lake, we have one of the biggest converters in the world. It helps not only to maintain a balance in the network between the many varied and fluctuating sources of renewable energy, but also to make a huge savings in quantities of water by better managing the pumps which supply the turbines. In the near future, clean energy will finally be available, to a large extent thanks to the work of researchers like Professor Duwich, who is improving the efficiency and flexibility in the use of different sources of energy.